Hello and uh, welcome to today's uh, session. So this is in continuation of uh, my past uh, live streams on economic crisis. So um, see all the things that I talk about in this presentation, uh, it is uh, my own opinion. Okay, so it uh, uh, they do not constitute any financial advice. All right, so SEBI is out of the way and FCC is out of the way. <laughs> okay, so the eyes are useless when the mind is blind. Okay, so in this age of uh, information, you can get to know a lot of things. But if your mind does not comprehend what you are uh, learning, then nothing is really useful. So in the last sessions on uh, uh, economic crisis, we were talking about uh, incoming economic crisis. Okay, so right now we are in the middle of it. Thanks to this uh, planned epidemic, uh, the planned economic crash is also progressing very well. Up, uh, I mean, along with the other uh, uh, silly 19, blah, blah. <clears throat> so uh, whoever is uh, doing the ruling of this earth, they have taken off all the gloves. Okay, so they are out and uh, they are really going for the kill. So all, they have put out all their plans, okay, in terms of economic destruction, in terms of vaccination, depopulation, you you name it, they have already put it out, uh, out in the public. And uh, it, it is up to us to actually figure out what is really going on, okay. So uh, in this age of information, if you are uh, still believing naively that uh, nothing is wrong with this world, then uh, I have nothing really to say. So anyway, the rich are getting uh, super rich and the middle class is getting practically wiped out. They are actually uh, getting demoted into the poor class. And uh, what about the poor? They are really becoming the slaves of the government because now they have practically nothing and uh, their uh, very existence now depends on what the government uh, gives them. Okay, so they, it's very unlikely they will, they will uh, what do you say, mount any reasonable resistance against uh, the uh, operation which is going on. <clears throat> so if you are not Amazon, Facebook or Google, uh, you need to take action. So that is why I have been talking about these uh, things over time. And uh, if you really want the real quick summary of uh, what I am telling you, so this is it. So buy gold, buy silver buy crypto and buy farmland with whatever assets you have. So that's it. So <laughs> if you if you under, understand this, probably uh, uh, this presentation may not be all that useful to you. Okay, so this is uh, uh, my last session on uh, the surviving the coming economic crisis. So this was live streamed on uh, 30th uh, April. Okay, so this is what I have said. Take out all your money from the banks and close your uh, locker accounts. If lockdown extends, your funds are likely to be frozen, taken uh, by a bankrupt government for the greater good of the nation. Okay, so increase your cash transactions as much as possible. Buy gold and silver, especially silver. And the fiat currency will lose value when things go south. Except from stock market investments for now, shift to bonds uh, if, if you have that kind of wealth. Then invest in farming. Develop a second residence in a self-contained farmstead. Do it together with friends. Okay, so this is uh, what I have said earlier. Now, uh, this article appeared on May 21st, nearly a month later. Why government is keen to buy your gold? Okay, so government is planning. I mean, they have been working on all the rules and regulations and setting up the machinery for... Um, uh, accumulating gold because that is the only way you can uh, uh, what do you say manage currencies in a, a deep uh, crisis okay so there is no other way even uh, earlier this has happened okay so this is nothing new and uh, so does the government really doing that are they uh, going up uh, in their uh, gold reserve absolutely so this is from the government website, tradingeconomics.com. Okay, this is not a government website, but this is uh, proper uh, economic data. You can go to this website and verify this yourself. 
you can see that in uh, july alone uh, our gold reserve is jumping in india okay so this is this must be the case in uh, many other countries i have not really went ahead and checked uh, other countries but it doesn't matter what news they put out they are going to uh, stock up on gold so uh, by april 30th uh, i have said uh, buy gold and silver right if you have bought uh, on that day uh, you would have got a handsome profit of 15% uh, as of yesterday okay 1st of august and gold is at an all time high right now okay so this is not going to stop this is going to continue and uh, i was telling you especially silver if uh, you have bought silver on that day uh, you would have seen a 62% increase in price from 30th of april to yesterday 1st of august all right so <clears throat> if you have bought it uh, well congratulations uh, on your profits you have done uh, really good uh, many people have told me that uh, they have done it so i am very happy about that and uh, well if you have not done it so no need to worry okay you can buy even now <clears throat> because um, um, it is going to go up from here as well always buy physical gold and physical silver uh, do not get into this uh, online buying of uh, etf and uh, mutual fund gold bonds nothing of that sort actual the old style uh, physical gold from your local jewelry shops that's it there is uh, nothing complicated about it okay so uh, i told you that i am expecting gold prices to double by this uh, year end i am sticking to that so i i still expect the gold prices to double or more than that <clears throat> and uh, silver prices uh, may fluctuate because of uh, various other factors but it will outperform gold like crazy okay even now uh, gold went up by 15% and you can see silver went up by 65% so this trend will continue until uh, there is uh, a break even point okay so after reaching that particular peak uh, there will be a massive uh, crash in silver prices but again it will start rising so uh, if you are not very good at tracking prices and trends and so on just to stick with gold or you buy silver and just to keep it for the very long term and don't worry about the intermediate uh, fluctuations and if you are really pressed for cash then uh, you can uh, sell otherwise just to keep it for uh, for the long term okay and what about stock markets uh, how are they doing so uh, they crashed in uh, march because of this uh, <clears throat> crisis and then uh, since then they have, they have recovered but now they are flattening out okay so ideally uh, this curve should have continued as is uh why why is that crash not happening because uh, federal reserve um is uh, printing unlimited amount of money so we saw this in uh, great detail uh, in the last session so you can go back and watch it but in essence uh, in march april may june time frame um uh, this has uh, printed they have printed about uh, 4.2 uh, 2.5 trillion dollars Uh, which is very close to india's entire economic output so that is the amount of uh, currency they have printed by, the, by printing it is not actual physical currency printing but they go and they enter into your computer okay uh, right now i am adding a uh, 1 trillion dollar to uh, federal reserve bank account that's it <laughs> that's all you and i will have to struggle for earning money but for, for federal reserve it is uh, simply uh, quote and quote a tool at their disposal okay so that is the term they use so this is a tool at their disposal uh, which is entering a number in a computer saying that uh, i am increasing my cash reserve to that uh, particular number so uh, that is how it is and the united states uh, has actually have been printing uh, money and uh, the debt the budget deficit uh, it is about uh, 864 billion dollars okay so this kind of uh, debt is larger than two centuries of debt put together okay so two centuries of debt they have taken from 1776 to 1979 uh, uh, in last years debt 
is more than all of that debt put together. So you can imagine the kind of uh, money printing and uh, debt skyrocketing uh, in United States. <clears throat> so market is stable because of this money printing and uh, Fed is buying everything. Okay, so where is this money going? Fed is giving it to their uh, other banks and uh, those banks are going and buying all the stocks. So at the end of it, Federal Reserve will be left standing as uh, the single largest owner of the entire economy. Okay, not only in the United States assets, but assets from across the world. So which includes yours and mine. Okay, so by printing, uh, Fed has stabilized the markets. I mean, so-called stabilization. It is absolutely artificial. Nothing genuine about it. Uh, so uh, even uh, with uh, such a massive amount of money printing, markets are not really going up. With so much of money being pumped, we should be uh, seeing some 30%, 40% uh, market uh, upswings. But that is not happening because uh, money velocity is not there. Money is not moving uh, inside uh, the economy because there is no economic activity. Uh, practically, uh, the entire US economy and uh, across the world, the economy has uh, uh, ground down to a halt. There is nothing is happening really. Okay. And here is the kicker. So US GDP, uh, this has come uh, about a couple of days ago, I think. So right now the US GDP has gone down by nearly 33% uh, quarter over quarter. And that is a historic crash, uh, crash from uh, since 1947, I think. Uh, yes, so this shows from 1947 till uh, date. And you can see US GDP uh, has plunged over 34.5%. So this is the real deal. Okay, so the stock market prices are not the real deal. So this is the number which represents uh, the real economic growth, economic activity in the country. Okay, so this is the steepest annualized decline in quarterly records dating back to 1947. And they uh, uh, estimate that about uh, the economy has shrunk already by nearly 34.5%. <clears throat> I think it will be close to 40%. They are just underplaying this number. And uh, why? Because uh, there is nobody going to work. Okay. So there is nobody uh, going to work. You can see it here. So uh, 7 million in April, they have been asking for uh, government help. Uh, I, they got unemployed. April is shot down, uh, shot up to 23 million, May 20 million and June uh, 17 million. July is going to be very close to that or maybe fluctuating around that. So uh, point is that people are not going uh, to work basically. So there is no economic activity, there is no GDP growth, nothing. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so far with uh, enormous amount of money printing, um, all the greedy uh, bankers have been holding on to the bonds, right? Now all the asset base, all the cash is flowing into bonds. So you uh, you need to watch this 10 year yield, uh, bond yield. Okay, this is a very important parameter. The moment you see this 10 year yield dropping, uh, so that is when you have to get out of the stock market because this is a precursor to stock market crash. So the, the moment uh, everybody's onboarding onto bonds, uh, the bond uh, yield drops and that is when uh, you can be rest assured that there is no money to be made in the stock market and you have to get out. Okay. And this is uh, the United States and so is in India. Okay. So the India's 10 years uh, bond yield is at uh, all time low. Okay. This is all time low. So yeah, the Indian economy, the growth story, all the kind of rubbish uh, this uh, present government and uh, its cronies are talking about. There is nothing. They have bankrupted the entire country basically. Okay, so the growth story is gone actually. So this article is written by Dr. Subramaniam Swami. So he is an eccentric character. Uh, you, you should go ahead and read this. He has put out so many uh, numbers which uh, you can verify. Every number you can verify, you can check. And uh, he, has, he is writing GDP by March 2021 uh, would have declined at least uh, by minus 5%. So I'm not really sure what this means. Um, you can take it as uh, 
zero minus five percent or from seven percent it will uh, jump to two percent i'm not really sure but either way it is disastrous it's just uh, yeah, a sense of scale okay and uh, i have been telling you uh, to take all your money out of the bank right so uh, here is the real interest rate suppose you have kept your money in the fixed deposits in the bank and uh, uh, you thought you you are getting some reasonable 5 percent 6 percent uh, interest right no the real rate of interest after you account for inflation it has gone to negative so 100 rupees today uh, will become uh, 99.2 rupees uh, after one year okay you get you not only don't get anything but your purchasing power is coming down okay so this is one of the reasons why i have been insisting to don't keep any money in the bank <clears throat> and uh, not only that um, the banks uh, are, uh, are at a very dangerous uh, what is a state coronavirus crisis heightens fears bank deposits could be wiped out under ambiguous laws okay so your money in the bank is uh, no longer safe and government will make uh, make up all kind of rules okay so suddenly they will announce okay the minimum uh, insured amount in your bank will be 1 lakh they will say so then that's it you may not have enough time or chance to pull out your uh, cash assets from the bank <clears throat> and uh, recently uh, you can read this this is important one uh, your fixed deposit in invest investments above rupees 1 lakh in a single bank may not be entirely safe because the cap on deposit insurance is rupees 1 lakh so even if you have FTs in multiple branches of the same bank, all your deposits are totaled and capped at two rupees one lakh for insurance purpose. So recently, Indian government has raised this to five lakhs. Okay, so any money you have uh, in Indian banks above five lakhs, uh, you have no guarantee of uh, getting it. Even this five lakh, they may change this number at any time. So this is why uh, why I have been saying uh, you watch out. Okay, and uh, we have seen the likes of uh, uh, S Bank and PMC Bank um, completely, uh, what do you say, um, withdrawals all completely stopped and uh, um, put a cap. Nobody can withdraw their own money from these banks because it's all um, scammed out. <clears throat> and uh, okay, if you have to keep your money in the bank in India, then uh, please keep it in these uh, systemically important banks, SIBs, okay, domestic uh, systemically important banks. There are only three such banks in India. You have State Bank of India, ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank. That's it. So uh, they have the maximum chance of keeping your money safe. That's all. So other banks, uh, nobody knows what they will do, when they will do. <clears throat> these banks are supposed to be too big to fail. Okay, so if you are in the United States or any other country, uh, go look up uh, which banks are the SIBs in your country and open your bank account if you do not have one uh, in one of those banks and shift your cash balances to that bank. So this is a very, very important step you need to do. Okay, so another uh, one good thing, uh, okay, right now it is not a good thing. So there is a credit crunch which is uh, happening right now. Okay, so the currency is uh, valuable. Uh, if you have cash right now, it, you you are the king. Okay, the goods and services and food growing, agriculture, everything uh, is uh, less than uh, the cash right now because there is a crunch, cash crunch. But this is not going to continue. Okay, so we are right now experiencing some kind of a deflation. Okay, so this is going to continue for some time until the point where the available currency uh, becomes much more than uh, the goods and services, the value of goods and services and food, agriculture. Okay, this is uh, this uh, crossover has to happen. There is no way uh, this cannot happen. Okay, so th this crossover is coming. So once that crossover <coughs> happens, then uh, the currency starts depreciating right so the purchasing power starts reducing so that is what we call as inflation right so uh, its time value starts uh, going down so 
this is a good time to borrow money okay so you can take out uh, any kind of debt uh, as very long term loan okay because uh, 100 rupees if you take uh, as debt right now um, the the same 100 rupee value will be let's say uh, 300 rupees after 2 or 3 years but you will still be paying only 100 rupees back so it works in your favor okay <clears throat> so once the dollar starts devaluing uh, inflation will go up and your loan value will go down uh, in terms of its purchasing power uh, but you will still be paying the old number okay this works in your favor <clears throat> so especially home loans right this is a great time uh, for taking out home loans because the real estate prices are coming down uh, big time they have already crashed uh, across the country even in united states everywhere right because uh, the currency uh, cash crunch is uh, going on and uh, people have less cash in hands so the real estate prices are coming down then uh, this this gives you a good opportunity uh, the value of emis uh, it will go down once the inflation starts uh, rising up the inflation will rise up because they have been printing money like crazy and uh, there is no economic activity and inflation will always uh, it is going to rise up so if that is a, a case then your emis will uh, will keep on losing value which works uh, entirely in your favor okay for example uh, suppose you are paying uh, $500 emi or 10000 rupees in india let's say and uh, this may be uh, worth only of $250 after let's say 2 or 3 years okay so essentially uh, you should be paying much more as emi but uh, you will be paying only the same 500 uh, even after 2 years instead of uh, that 1000 which actually is the current time value of the um, currency that you are taking loan uh, at this point in time right now okay so this is great okay so the bank loses uh, and you actually gain okay you should leverage this situation okay you have to come out of your mindset that uh, no i don't want to take uh, debt okay this is a great time to take uh, debt if, if you have not taken a home loan this is actually a good time to take a home loan <clears throat> think about that and uh, yeah if you are employed in these uh, places right you have automobile industry airlines uh, hotels food joints or uh, the supply chains uh, for the hospitality industries commercial real estate uh, clothing industry footwear industry retail industry especially these are all getting decimated okay so if you have lost jobs like millions of other people then um, the news is not good so these jobs uh, may not be coming back anytime soon so you have to reorient yourself retool yourself Uh, probably retrain yourself and uh, reeducate yourself in some other field uh, or find opportunities where your skill sets are uh, of some use and then uh, train for it um, you have to actively seek your opportunities there is no other way <clears throat> so if you are stuck in this situation where you you don't have much of an income and you um, uh, you don't have a job and things like that you have to drastically reduce your expenses okay so if you are paying if you are staying in a rental place move to a less expensive rental okay uh, of course it will be very harsh uh, on you but that is the most prudent thing to do don't wait uh, and also you talk to your family members talk to your friends and uh, as much as possible uh, combine families and take a larger rental which will work out cheaper for both families or multiple families and you can share your living expenses as well so this is the absolutely the best option okay but unfortunately the modern times uh, always train people the movie the news everything uh, they train you not to pay attention to your uh, what do you say your neighbors or your relatives okay so always hero worship right one man individual uh, worship so that is what uh, is being taught to you uh, through all these mediums you have to break through that deception 
it is the people who matter to us at the end of the day okay so if you look at uh, many many wealthy families which i i have seen in india they actually stay together so i would uh, strongly encourage you to consider this idea right so shared rentals at this time is a great uh, idea and uh, uh, you have to swallow, swallow your pride and go and uh, uh, take up uh, food stamps in united states or uh, any kind of government health schemes ration cards uh, uh, nerga and other schemes in india so explore all that and uh, um, benefit from all these schemes it is your money after all uh, which they are just giving to you back after taking off uh, your huge cut for themselves okay so you you are entitled for this absolutely so go ahead and do that so as i have been saying uh, please move away from any kind of dematerialized assets okay so mutual funds stock market investments fixed deposits savings accounts corporate bonds government bonds uh, treasury bills and all that stuff okay so these uh, can be easily cut off from you if uh, government tomorrow decides okay i need to i can allow you to withdraw only 70% of your assets uh, all uh, from the your dematerialized assets you are stuck you you have no control over them okay so uh, you have to switch over to the real world revenue yielding assets okay these these are like local businesses you can buy a shop uh, buy a restaurant and things like that and which is real tangible okay and the real estate for example farmland uh, farmland is the best investment you can make at this point in time so i have explained this in uh, much detail in my previous presentation why this is the case and even now it is it is the same case and and the logical argument for this uh, keeps on going it is going up it's not going coming down any time and uh, keep your assets in gold as much as uh, possible and uh, cash okay so this is uh, what you have to convert your uh, assets to and as i said uh, uh, own assets that are tangible and you have control over uh, which generate revenue for you for example your house which you are staying in cannot generate revenue for you okay so th then don't put mo money over there of course you have excess cash and you want to leverage the current situation uh, to take up your home loan yeah, please go ahead but if you are uh, starved for money and you don't have a job this is not a good time for you to go and put your uh, existing money into your home loan <clears throat> and uh, whatever assets you are investing in they should be able to generate revenue for you uh, it should be local and you should be having full control over those assets and uh, they should be as much as uh, possible crash resistant <clears throat> local demand is always crash resistant okay so if you are running a small um, what do you say um ponwala shop somewhere that is crash resistant because people will consume it uh, sooner or later your business will become dull but you may not go out of business anytime soon and uh, if you are uh, knowledgeable and you have enough money uh, no, i mean it doesn't matter how much money you have you should uh, own crypto assets so this is uh, really one of the most important points i wanted to convey uh, today in today's presentation right so let's uh, see about uh, the growth prospects of the cryptocurrency <clears throat> So you must have heard about cryptocurrency and i'm sure you have you know uh, something about uh, bitcoin okay so crypto ownership uh, is growing there are more than now uh, 700 800 uh, different cryptocurrencies which are popular and the cryptocurrencies are popping up um, uh, very often nowadays and if you look at the total total market capitalization uh, we are talking about more than 250 billion dollars in united states dollars and that is how much money is today being traded how much as of, uh, how much assets are being traded in crypto no, that is not a small number uh, the richest man in the world owns maybe 70 80 billion dollars right now or maybe 100 so that's a comparison you can have right and uh, most of it is in bitcoins okay so this is uh, bitcoin so this curve is bitcoin curve and uh, next one is uh, ethereum uh, it's pretty good one and uh, you have uh, tether as well and various other other ones okay so i would say if you do not know much about uh, this 
uh, cryptocurrencies go open your account in one of the exchanges uh, i personally use uh, binance and in india wasirx so you can go and open your account and then uh, put your put some money into bitcoin that's it it's very easy to do just like your bank account and why the cryptocurrencies have been jumping over the last one month uh, they have been steadily gaining so bitcoin gained from uh, uh, about 9000 plus dollars to today 11000 plus dollars okay a huge jump uh, it is because the united states government uh, is recognizing now um, that crypto can be handled by banks uh, for banking services so this is a letter i mean nobody pays attention to these things but, but but then these are the things that really matter this letter was uh, sent sent out on july 22nd right we conclude uh, a national bank may provide these cryptocurrency custody services on behalf of customers okay so now it is legal for banks uh, to provide you cryptocurrency services of course you have to be insane to give your uh, crypto keys Uh, to any bank you, you should be having it and nobody else uh, but banks i mean there are many uh, rich uh, people who don't care so they, they, i mean for them this uh, banking services uh, may be of use okay but don't give your crypto private keys to anybody it, it is it should be in your possession alone and uh, and in this downturn uh, those people who were holding crypto they were relatively unaffected Uh, so this uh, survey was done by none other than Forbes. Okay, so you can see these three columns. The, this column is for currently hold cryptocurrencies, and uh, they are actually gaining 44% and 16%. Okay, somewhat better than they were before the crash. Uh, don't currently hold the crypto, but plan to in the next 12 months. Um, they are actually doing. less than this group but they are also okay uh, this group is uh, uh, badly affected see that yellow thing about the same or somewhat worse these uh, segments these two right they uh, they they are becoming worse and worse so this is one indicator that uh, crypto assets are uh, very resilient to crash crashes um, that that is one indicator this is one indicator it's not a proof but it's a very good indicator and the crypto exchanges are uh, growing okay so today it is uh, talking about uh, about uh, um, 1 billion okay so this is uh, set to double or triple over the coming uh, uh, decade okay so there are many good exchanges are now uh, running okay if if you want to start a crypto exchange please go ahead that is a great business to to be in and uh, crypto consultancy right so now there are a lot of people who want this uh, asset management crypto asset management but there aren't enough consultants today so if you educate yourself on cryptocurrencies and you are able to uh, what do you say put together your crypto portfolio and be able to manage you can offer private consultancy services crypto consultancy services to other people and this business is really booming okay so and this is entirely in your hands there there are no regulations in india or anywhere uh, which requires you to get a license uh, like your financial expert advising right you don't need such kind of licensing there is no uh, law uh infrastructure to begin with there are there is no regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies so they are working on it the governments are working on it but until they come out with the regulations the the thing is uh, open open for everybody okay so i would suggest uh, this is a great uh, opportunity uh, which you can take up and become a crypto uh, expert and the way it is going Uh, even if you don't do anything just uh, build uh, some 10 top cryptocurrency portfolio and leave it for the next 3 uh, to 5 years you stand to gain okay so that is the kind of thing we are talking about and the governments will uh, certainly come out with their own digital currencies very soon there is no way they can avoid it they will do that okay so in summary if you have money uh, buy gold silver crypto and farmland 
uh, and this is a great time to talk, take out uh, long term uh, debt especially something like a home loan and uh, don't keep your money in the bank at all nothing zero I, I mean you may have to use for online purchases and things like that yeah accept that don't keep any asset in there and uh, if you are jobless and you are uh, starved for cash you need to take uh, action right now don't wait don't keep on staying in the same house uh, and build up your uh, debt okay so don't do that shift away right now and drastically cut your expenses and reorient your reorient your job and uh, educate yourself on crypto uh, um, again just another point is uh, i mean combine your expenses uh, across multiple families get together with the friends and families and uh, reduce your uh, collective expenses that is a great way pool your resources then um, work on your food and water security okay so this is important and i talked about this uh, at length in the previous one you go back and take a look at it and this crisis is also coming because right now the food production is not really happening much okay this uh, please go back and uh, see this surviving the coming economy crisis part 2 take a look at it uh, well that is all i wanted to talk about Uh, growing your own food is like printing your own uh, money <laughs> that is this is literally true right now and moving forward okay and uh, yeah stay safe from all the deceptions that bind you in your fear frozen suspended animation okay so don't watch tv don't watch news whatever uh, information you want go online and check it out and uh, research about what this thing means okay and uh, read about all these uh, doctors what these people are saying almost none of them are now on uh, facebook and uh, um, youtube okay so they have been deep platformed okay massive censorship is going on and i don't know how long i will be there on facebook as i said and so i am setting up uh, dragada.com so we can continue our conversation over there um so <clears throat> there is a very nice uh, discussion forum in the over here we can all discuss uh, over over here so dragada means uh, in sanskrit the kettle drum used for waking up uh, sleeping people okay that is what it means all right so that's all i had and uh, see you next time